Is this a whoop? or a womp. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing some more lip swatches for you. Now, the reason why I say some more is because I just posted a brand new video on more NYX products. Now, I love NYX and I love lip products and I know lots of you are lip junkies like me. So if you didn't see that video, make sure you check it out after this one, but I did swatches of another product, new Lip Ombre Duo, so <laughs> But today's swatches are obviously of the new Full Throttle Lipsticks that came out. There are only six shades available, so I'm sure NYX is going to expand on that. And these retail for $6.99, which I think is a very reasonable price. Check out yesterday's video to see the price of those babies. They come like this. They don't come in a box or anything like that. They just have protective plastic over the top. And this is what the packaging looks like. Nothing too fancy smancy, just black and then the color at the tip. When you open it up is what's going to be unique. So this is what the lipstick looks like. And obviously you can see that tip is definitely not your average tip. Okay, that sounded a little bit... Bag. And on the Alta side, it says that this is a bullet tip. So there's these lines and ridges, and it has a definite unique shape. But once you twist it up, that unique shape does not stay like that, as you can see. Now, on the Alta side, it says that this is a Color Addicts Ultimate Fix and a Makeup Artist Dream. NYX Cosmetics Waterproof Full Throttle Lipstick covers your lips with a super saturated matte color. I'm wearing one right now. And features a unique bullet with a beveled edge for lining, filling, and perfecting your pout to your heart's boom boom desire. So right off the bat when I saw these online I was super excited because this is a waterproof formula. When I hear waterproof, long lasting, all day, that always gets me. The reason why they did this like it says in the description is to line and fill. But after trying this product I have tried one shade, the one that I've been wearing right now for a couple of days. I will say that the shape is pretty unique but honestly it did not really help me. If anything it almost confused me because I'm sort of like where do I go because they're all so close together and like I said I have been trying out a certain color for a couple of days and now it's starting to get some wear on it so now you can kind of see that this lipstick that I've been wearing definitely does not keep its shape because I'm using it and it doesn't keep its shape to the end so honestly this whole line and bevel and edge and fill and line dream it went away. It's just going to start molding into a typical lipstick. It's not going to keep its shape because if you really try to keep the shape, it's like you have to start applying it like on those different edges to keep that. And nobody's going to do that. But on the bright side, I just wanted to touch base on that because I felt like they were really trying to make that like their main thing. Why they made this like full throttle is that the formula of the lipstick is awesome. Now when you apply these lipsticks, they feel so silky to the touch. It feels like it's about to slip off. Once you place it, it is easy application. It's no different than another lipstick. So don't think like those lines are going to distort like your skill of applying lipstick. Once you place and it feels so silky, you start feeling the lipstick set. And when it sets, obviously you think silk does not equal a matte lip, but for this formula, it does. It sets to a matte finish as you can see right now, and it feels very light on the lips. You do feel a little little bit of tack but not as much as other formulas but there still is a little bit but someone is not going to pucker their lips all day like that so the first one I already have on my lips so I'm not gonna swatch all my lips but I'll do the other ones and I'll also do hand swatches as well the first one is called kiss the dust and it glides on immediately. It's super pigmented. And I wish you could feel the silkiness that I feel even on my hand. This formula is insane. And it dries, but it doesn't like dry instant. It's definitely set within two to three minutes. And after that, it is waterproof. And another awesome thing, I'm wearing this lipstick right now already for about five minutes. I said monarchs, minutes. It definitely does not transfer, which is freaking bomb. So the next lipstick I'm going to swatch is called Con Artist. And it's that shade right there. It's like a beautiful brick red. And you're going to see how fast this glides onto my lips. And the formula is so creamy and silky. As you can tell, already after using it for one use, it's taking away those ridges. So like I said, uh, not too into the whole like you can line and, you know, use the beveled edges. Just ignore that. Just think of it as a regular lipstick. But this one is Con Artist Trickster. And this is a really nice pink. Well, obviously it looks not so much pink. It's more like a lilac, I would say. And again, just glides on effortlessly. 
effortlessly. The camera's picking it up a little bit more neon what I can see in the viewfinder. I'm not sure when I edit, but this definitely is a wearable lilac. Or I would say it's like an orchid color. That's what it is, an orchid. Lethal Kiss, and this definitely is a much brighter pink much brighter than Trickster. Oh yeah, this one is more of a neon pink and I know the camera's gonna pick that up. The other one, Trickster, is more like an orchid. I just want you to know in case you guys pick it up. It reminds me of like a candy yum yum from MAC just so you can kind of get a reference. And that's the shade right there. And what I love is that my lips have kind of been a little bit chapped and they still feel comfortable. Sorry, just feel so close. It still feels comfortable even wearing these lipsticks when they set MAC. Firestorm and it is this beautiful vibrant red. It's definitely not a brick red. It's more on like the brighter red. When I thought Firestorm, I thought of like Storm. Oh yes, this reminds me of the shade of Besso from Stila Liquid Lipstick. So again, this one was a Firestorm. Nightcrawler. Now this one is one of those deep purple lipsticks that almost can look black. So let's see what this one looks like. That's what it looks like in the tube. This looks intense, so let's see. Ooh, that's intense. And darker lipsticks can be much harder to apply. So let's see. Oh, I will say I see some patchiness already just after just going like a couple times because the other ones didn't have that. So this one is Nightcrawler and I will say with the application of this one, I definitely had to go over my lips a couple extra times than the other ones. The other ones were super opaque and the opacity on this one, you did have to give a couple extra strokes. But here, just so I can zoom you in, there's still a little bit of patchiness right there in the center and I'm not sure if layering this will really help over and over. I don't know if it will completely dry like to the point where it's not going to transfer, you know? So I don't know, cause I put a couple extra layers to kind of avoid the patchiness and yeah. But all in all, I'm obsessed with these lipsticks. I think the formula is bomb. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying this one. Of course, it's an everyday brown. And like I said, Kiss the Dust is awesome. But all in all, I think the formula is awesome. It lasts long. It's $6.99, so it's not too expensive. It is waterproof, so that's always a plus. So this product is definitely a whoop in my book. So don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this swatch video and it helped you. And don't forget to subscribe because it is free 99 don't forget to check out my NYX duo lip ombre swatch video down below lip duo ombre ombre lip duo is a link down below and I'll see you guys in my next one Mwah. Woo -woo.